you couldn't miss in the last several months all of the headlines and stories about the Veterans Administration, particularly the long waiting list and the fact that many veterans uh, had their health endangered and some even worse because of these waiting lists. We've responded and passed last night on a bipartisan basis in both the House and the Senate a VA reform bill. It is significant. First, it gives to Bob McDonald, the new uh, head of the VA, originally from Arlington Heights, new authorities to clean out those who are responsible for this wrongdoing within the Veterans Administration. I think it's a small number, but it's important that we hold them accountable. If they have misled veterans and misled others about the services of the Veterans Administration, that has to change. Secondly, we're making substantial investments in the Veterans Administration to keep up with the new demands. These demands are significant. There's been a 45% increase in VA disability uh, requests since the year 2000. It reflects many coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan facing PTSD and many other issues uh, who need treatment. We want to make sure they get the treatment they were promised. $17 billion will go into two or three specific things. First, upgrade the number of medical professionals at the VA. Second, improve the facilities at the VA. Good news for Heinz VA because part of the improvement will be the replacement of a 100-year-old research lab at Heinz VA uh, that sadly is past its prime and needs to be replaced. The third thing we do is change the rules. If you're a veteran and have more than 40 miles to go to a veteran's hospital or clinic, uh, you can seek treatment outside the VA system compensated by the Veterans Administration. That means that those uh, veterans who are in an extraordinarily tough personal situation or family situation will have access to care closer to home.